What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be shooting a $1.5 million luxury real estate listing, but I'm only gonna be using an iPhone and a smartphone gimbal. So I just got this set up about a week ago and have been blown away by the results so far. So I wanted to take it on an actual client shoot and go ahead and test it out just to see, you know, how good is it compared to my normal setup? And just what all can you pull off with this thing? Here is my normal setup. And here is the smartphone setup we're gonna be testing out today. Pretty huge difference. Which one of these do you think is gonna be easier to learn and get started making your own content? So, it might not be that fair of a comparison, but just with the huge price differences, I think it's gonna be super interesting to see just how close you can get in quality and just like how much you can actually pull off with the super low entry cost iPhone set. So, let's go to the house. All right, I guess I'm just gonna take this today. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> So, I made it to the house, now I've got to set up all my camera gear. Alright, ready to go. Usually that takes me like 10 minutes to get everything out of my backpack. Okay, so, first thing I'm going to do is go through and get wide angle shots of every room, and then get detail shots of all the main big selling features like stoves, fireplaces, cool things like that. We're just going to get enough coverage to get like a little sequence of each room. So I'm going to show you how I do kind of just walking and stuff while I'm going. So you just want to walk as smooth as possible and get a shot that shows the whole room pretty much the whole time. Kitchen is pretty much most important, so you got to get the most details here. Big selling feature. So far it's only been like 10 minutes and I've pretty much shot most of the house. So I'd have to say the light weight of this and being able to switch lenses on your phone really quick really, 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 really speeds it up. Everything looks super smooth, nice wide angles, nice details, nice and sharp, good dynamic range. I don't know, might be given my EOS R run for its money. We'll see. By the way, you guys, I've been shooting everything at 4K 60 that I can. Mostly detail shots on the inside or any of these outdoor shots just because you have so much light so you can do that. So anyways, 4K 60 outside or details and then 4K 30 on the inside because you can slow it down a little bit and then it smooths out some of the jitteriness from me walking and stuff. It makes editing a lot easier. So yeah, that's it. Check out this cool, this is like a fire pit from like the 1900s or something, insane. Wow, into the shade. So check out this view. These are not sound effects, by the way. Definitely don't see this everywhere. Pretty nice spot to end a shoot. So pretty much just got to do a couple more shots on the iPhone and then that's it. I'm going to go back, back to Houston about an hour drive. See you guys. I gotta say, after doing that shoot, I am super, super impressed by just how nice, like the dynamic range looks on the iPhone footage. I think in some of the shots that were a little bit low light, it got a little bit grainy, but honestly, most people are gonna be looking at this stuff on like an iPhone, on Instagram or something, so just like super small. So 
nobody's really gonna notice that. Uh, they're mostly just gonna notice is like, are you showing the product essentially, which is the house? So I would say, yes, you can definitely show the product, the house. You can definitely show lots of variety to show like the floor plan, the size of the house, details of the house with the different lenses and stuff. So I would say it's definitely super, super impressive. It's especially crazy if you compare the prices of these two. So got it right down here. So basically if you're going to set up the exact same setup as I have with just even just one lens, 16 to 35, the EOS R and the Ronin S, which is a pretty standard like thing that people will probably use for this type of stuff. Um, the total price comes out to $4,347. And some of those are even on sale right now. So that's normally probably cost even more. And then we've got the iPhone setup on the other hand, which is total with the phone and the gimbal, it's only $1,089. But given the fact that you probably potentially already have an iPhone, with these lenses and stuff, um, could potentially only put you out of pocket $89. So compare $89 to $4,347. Pretty crazy compared to like the fact that you can do a lot of the same type of thing, functionally at least. The quality, it's not like exactly a fair comparison just cause it's just different. I think things look better and a little bit more cinematic and stuff coming out of the DSLR, but the fact that you can pull off something even like a couple notches lower with something that's so, so affordable for like most people, um, that really says a lot. It's definitely something to consider, especially if you are a realtor, maybe you're just starting out or something and you don't have tons of money to spend on marketing, uh, get one of these, try it out. This gimbal actually even has a app that you can use for editing, so you don't even have to buy editing software. Pretty cool. Funny little thing, I actually was there doing an actual client shoot with my normal setup and everything, and guess what? I snuck in some of the iPhone footage into my actual video, and guess what they said? Nothing. They didn't even know. <laughs> so. They loved the video. They were super pumped about the video. And what does that say? You can pull it off. Maybe it's not gonna be the best, best quality video compared to like a cinema camera or something, but the main function of these videos is actually that people are posting them on social media, people are showing off the house, and they want a unique way to show like why you should buy it basically or why you should imagine yourself living there so you can do that with your phone case closed the end <laughs> here's the shots So future me coming back in, I actually did a quick little test. I posted that video that you just watched on Facebook and Instagram just to see what people's honest reactions would be. And all I said was new camera test from this week. Let me know what you think about it, good or bad. So it's just been a few hours, but basically a lot of realtors and builders have uh, liked it or commented. Basically people said, it's great, feels like an elegant commercial, great job, beautiful, 
The color is very vibrant, looks great, always perfect. Here's a builder, says it looks beautiful, especially like how it captures the motion of the trees blowing in the wind. Instagram, people saying good things, better than real life, priceless, awesome. Andre's comment doesn't count. He knows it's an iPhone video. Okay, another realtor saying so good. So, filmmaker jokes. It's an Ari, 12K raw, 100, 1000 frames per second, Atlas anamorphic <laughs> lenses. This are stupid. <laughs> And filmmaker jokes, filmmaker jokes. He knew it was an iPhone video too. But anyways, so my clients and realtors have said it for themselves. They like it. What else is there to say? I just wanted to keep building a case for you guys so that you can see that like for real, you can use your phone on actual paid projects. And there's a need for this. There's a need for all levels of like production quality. So especially if you're just starting out, you can get one of these setups, start making work, get to where you're actually pretty good at like editing and composing all your shots and stuff. And then with the money you can save up from doing that, you can just keep building up your gear arsenal and doing more and more creative and more higher paying jobs with that gear that allows you to do that. That's what I did. Started with an iPhone, got a Sony, got another Sony. Then like last year I switched to Canon, got the USR, and then after having that for like most of a year, I ended up getting a C200 so I could start taking on more corporate clients. And it's worked, it's worked out real well. So you could do it too. And right now, honestly, you have a way better starting point than I did. So no excuses, just get to work, do it, it's awesome. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, whether maybe you're a realtor or someone starting out in videography and want to know kind of what, what's even possible. So I just wanted to make this video as, you know, hopefully something that's helpful and accessible for a lot of people. So I hopefully I did that. I think it was fun and I think honestly I was just super blown away by what all you can actually do with your iPhone these days. It's, I mean, it's literally insane. But anyways, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Uh, I actually just changed my schedule big time to where I'm gonna be able to do this a lot more consistently. I know I'm still very new to this, but if you subscribe, I will be posting more content regularly, weekly, maybe twice a week, hopefully. Uh, still getting the hang of things, and it's a lot of work, but I am trying to make some helpful information test out products, uh, do some vlogs and stuff. Hopefully it's fun for you guys and hopefully you can learn some things by watching my videos. So like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.